Sports Talk says it all when no one else will. You know what the deal is. You know I'm going to ask the questions that you want to be asked. No more fake outs. I like to talk about things that nobody else talks about. What I'm going to give you is the heart and soul of the athlete. Sports Talk with Glenn Harris. I'm not very PC. Don't jack slap me. A true Washingtonian with grassroots sports experience. We bring it to life for the people in the city. Live from News Channel 8, this is Toyota Sports Talk with Glenn Harris. Well, it's another hot summer in the city, and that means hydrating early and often and making sure that you pay attention to the quality of fluid you're drinking. Tonight on Sports Talk, we're going to expose some of the myths about drinking water, and they can affect your overall health, no question. How you doing, everybody? And welcome to this edition of Toyota Sports Talk. I'm Glenn Harris, starting, uh, starting your weekend with us. Thank you. It's another Health and Fitness Friday, and we bring back one of the, our original fitness pros, Dr. Eric Berg, author of The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. Doc, how you doing? Great, thanks. You've been on the road and everything, oh, so you're yeah. back. Okay. I'm back. All right. But you got something real important to talk about, and it's about drinking water. And I'm sure all of you have heard your parents say, yeah, drink water, eight glasses, whatever. Uh, you mentioned in your videos that eight glasses of water may not be right for all the people, you know, all the time. That goes uh, against what we've been taught. Well, I just want to say that there, it's, there's a lot of controversy with this water thing. Mm -hmm. Everyone's pushing this water. you got to drink eight glasses. I used to be the guy pushing water. You have to drink your water. Right. Until I bought a machine to look at the hydration. And I find the more people drink, the more dehydrated they become. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, when you drink water uh, and then you urinate... You are the urine is a lot more concentrated in all the minerals, electrolytes, and uh, proteins, and that's coming out of the body. So, mm -hmm. if you drink a, too much water, you'll flush out your electrolytes. And there's even a condition called hyponatremia, which mm -hmm. basically means you deplete all your minerals from your heart, and you get a heart attack. So, this whole myth of drinking all this water yeah. is based on uh, just random opinion. So the key is to make sure you don't overdrink. Now, mm -hmm. I know it's hot out there, so drink it. But water doesn't necessarily hydrate you mm -hmm. because it's filtered. And it's filtered through a lot of different systems unless you buy bottled water. Yeah. And then you're drinking water without the minerals. And that's the danger of drinking too much water without minerals. Yeah. Now, tap water has nothing in it, right? Tap water has a lot of stuff in it as far as bad things. Chlor <laughs> it has chlorine and it has all yeah. sorts of stuff, but it doesn't have the minerals. Like growing up, you had a well, you had well water, you had spring water, artesian water. All those minerals were really good for us. Well, how bad is chlorine? Chlorine is very bad. It's very, it's, I mean, it, it kills bacteria, but um, what happens is it, it's, a, it's a very highly reactive mm -hmm. chemical. So you drink, I mean, it's it's not good. Mm. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, man. How much water do we need? Well, you need to drink when you're thirsty. I, I know there's this myth that you say, well, our bodies don't know when we're thirsty, and you have to, um, you know, by the time you drink, it's too late, you're already dehydrated. Right. That is based on someone's opinion. It's not true. You know when you're thirsty. You drink, and then you drink till you're full. But this whole thing where you're taking this gallon jug and you're drinking, yeah. drinking, drinking, you're basically diluting all your minerals in your body and you start to develop all sorts of deficiencies in magnesium, calcium, and potassium. And Well, I go to the gym and guys bring gallons of water. A gallon. Uh, it's frozen most of the time. It, you know, gets down in there. You just drink and drink. If you sweat a lot, yeah. well, then definitely drink. But just use your uh, sense of thirst yeah. to know that when you're thirsty. I know people that do not drink water at all. They don't drink it at all. Yeah. They say they don't like water. You know why they don't like water? Because water has been so filtered that there's no minerals in it. It's mm -hmm. not satisfied. We have some water here. Right. This is called ice, Icelandic. This is uh, glacier water yeah. from an actual glacier. Pellegrino. This is from underground in Italy. These are mineral waters. They're spring waters. They have mineral, mineral components, and it's very hydrating. When I drink this stuff... Um, I mean, like growing up uh, in Wisconsin, we drank hard water from the well, right. and that was so satisfying. When I drink filtered water, or I drink tap water, or if it's filtered, it doesn't do anything for me. It's just not hydrating because of the minerals. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. 
Should we drink filtered water, mineral water? What should we drink? Well, you got a lot of different types of water. You got spring water, you got hard water, you have uh, distilled water, mm -hmm. reverse osmosis. Now, I'm not saying you have to buy bottled water all the time, right. but you sh should think about getting some good mineral water, mm -hmm. some high quality. Of course, I try this glacier water. That's, I'm kind of spoiled on it now, and it's kind of expensive. But Pellegrino is my favorite. Yeah. It's carbonated. Right. But if you get a good spring water, I think you're going to be fine. Now, get a filter in your house, mm -hmm. but try not try to also get some good water from a bottled bottle place. Yeah. But you need the minerals. Now, if you don't have... Um, uh, this type of water, you can also put minerals in the water, like mm -hmm. electrolytes. Yeah. But make sure it doesn't have the sugar. So, um, I do not agree that you should drink distilled water because it pulls all the minerals out. It's like mm -hmm. a vacuum; it'll pull everything out. Mm -hmm. Spring water is the best. Hard water from the well is well, the, what are they, the best. What are they selling us? If, if, if distilled water is not good, now somebody knows that. Why? Well, it's it? filtered. It's just filtered. You think you're getting something good? It's mm -hmm. like a dollar for a little bottle. It's just. Filtered water, just like you would do on your tap. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just a joke. It's a rip. It's like you're not getting anything. Now, right. unless it's from a spring, mm -hmm. you know, you can even taste. The water should taste almost sweet if it's the real deal. Right. And I can taste this, and I'm going to have you taste it later, and you just tell me what you think. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I can taste well water. It's it's just, it's hydrating, you know? So you could drink one of these and be thirst-free for a few hours, say. Yes. That's what I do. Yeah. If I drink other water, it just doesn't do anything for me. Right, right. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This Next up, we'll open up for your health and fitness call for Doc, 703-387-1020. And all calls will have a chance to win a copy of his book, The Seven Principles of Fat Burning, and some of his nutrition product. To see the complete line, check out uh, Dr. Bird. Dot com Sports Talk Friday continues in a moment. I'll be right back. Hey, you can check out Dr. Berg online and take the quiz to determine your body type at drberg.com. Take a look at the blogs, videos, and other weight loss information from his best selling book, which I have. We're back with Dr. Eric Berg, author of The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. You can schedule a consultation with him by calling his office at 703-354-7336. Let's go to the first caller. Mary, go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. How you doing? I'm all right. How are you all okay. doing? Okay. That's good. Uh, listen, I just wanted to mention something because uh, I've been drinking water and uh, um, my... Um, my doctor uh, told me to drink some water to make the blood pressure go up because my blood pressure had gone down. Mm -hmm. So I've been drinking a lot of water, you know, because uh, just to keep it up. I didn't know if anybody had heard that, you know. Okay. Yeah, Mary, what happens is if your volume of your fluid is too low, of course your blood pressure is going to go down. One thing you may want to consider, if that does not work, to add a little bit more sea salt in your diet. If you add a little salt, then you'll retain some of that water and it will slightly bring up the volume higher. Mm -hmm. So it's not just the water, you need the minerals. Okay. Mary, you got that? Okay, she's gone. Okay. Leslie, go ahead. Hi, my name is Leslie Ortiz. I'm a registered dietitian at MedStar Montgomery Medical Center. Right. And I have to say... Most of the stuff this guy is saying is not scientifically correct, okay. and I would like to challenge him on quite a lot of points, and I think he's selling the public on something that's just a whole lot of quackery. Mm -hmm. well, well, let me ask you this. How much, of your, how much of your body is pure water? Oh, it's a lot, but you get a lot of water and minerals from the foods that you eat. I agree. And thirst is actually a very, very poor indicator of hydration. It gets a lot of elderly people and children in trouble if they don't drink even when they're not thirsty. The yeah. color of your urine is a much more uh, appropriate indicator of your hydration status. Leslie, what is your objection, really? I mean, you're... Uh, a lot of what he's saying, that uh, mineral water pulls the minerals out of your body. People don't distill, distill use water. mineral water to distill. drink. That's no. what you're using in your... EPAP machine or in your, 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 I mean, the distilled water in your, in your ironing. 
But you don't need to drink mineral water to get your minerals. Where do you get your minerals? From all the food that you eat. Right. So if you're drinking a gallon of water a day, what happens is it, it doesn't have the minerals to hydrate you. And so what oh, happens... So are you just drinking water during the day? A you're lot of people eating? are told to push that water, drink that water. And I think we're uh, overhydrated because there's a condition called hyponatremia. Are you Which familiar with that? Which is very rare. Well, it still happens. People very, even very diet. rare. Yeah, and so I, the, I have to chime in here, too, because I'm her husband and I'm also a physician. <laughs> and I have to say, I, I, I agree. I mean, this whole thing that, that uh, regular tap water and all this stuff doesn't hydrate you is actually not correct at all. And then you have to say, well, what minerals do you think people need? What concentration of minerals do they need? Uh, a lot of the things we get, whether they're in water or not, a lot of stuff that you drink out of the tap already has minerals in it. Uh, most people don't drink distilled water. Yeah. Distilled yeah. water is usually used for, like, infant formula, CPAP machines, those kind of things. Sir, sir could you identify yourself so, so our audience will know? Much. And, all, and a lot of those uh, those minerals you get from your food. So the, the problem is it's just Doc, a lot of this. Hold, is, hold, on, hold on for a second. I want you to continue. Just want you to identify yourself, please. Uh, so, yeah, so my name is Dr. Ed Ortiz. And okay. so, uh, so I'm a physician, and my wife here is a dietitian. And, okay. Okay. And so we were just watching this, and we're just seeing a lot of stuff that's just not factually correct. And so that was yeah. like that was our concern: is that you're giving a lot of misleading information mm -hmm. that people have to buy this mineral water or glacier water or all this bottled water, and that that's actually healthier and more hydrating when it's not more hydrating. That's actually, that's actually well, not physically or factually correct. So well, that, thanks, that's for, not true. thanks for your viewpoint. People should use the money that they would be wasting on that water to buy healthy, nutritious foods like. Fresh and frozen fruits and vegetables, which is so desperately needed in the American yeah, diet. Yeah, so here, here's my point. I'm not against drinking water, but I think there's a problem when people are just forcing themselves to drink and drink and drink and drink. Because what happens is I'm also in my clinic. I see thousands of patients, and they're forcing themselves to drink so much water. When you do the testing on their hydration, a lot of them are have too much water retention. I've had people have this drinking water and their ankles are swollen and they're told by their physician that they need to drink more water. Mm -hmm. So the point is that I'm not against water with your thirsty, but I am against the overhydration of drinking so much water. That's okay. what I'm against. All right. Okay. Thank you for your call. Please. Uh, we, like, we like these kinds of things. The lines are open for more of your health and fitness call with Dr. Bird, 703-387-1020. Stay with us. Sports Talk Friday continues in a moment. Hey, you can catch all of Dr. Berg's informative uh, videos uh, on YouTube. Just search for Dr. Berg on YouTube.com, and you'll find a wealth of life-changing lectures and information at your fingertips. We're back with uh, Dr. Eric Berg, uh, author of The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. You can reach him online at drberg.com. We had two very interesting callers. And um, more comments on Yeah, well, I think... I think the, there's this huge uh, arbitrary opinions based on, you know, people say, well, there's minerals in tap water. But, you know, I like to see the references mm -hmm. um, because the filters actually filter out the minerals. And when you drink water, um, too much water without the minerals, you, you can actually create an imbalance of electrolytes. Yeah. So yeah. the thing is, you just have to think with it. So, um, but when I see people drinking gallons and gallons of water and then you just do the test and they're just completely out of balance... You know, you got to speak up. Okay. All right. Don, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, this guy here is smart. Okay. I can tell you, I don't care anybody. John Hopkins chose me in seventh grade. Okay. I got an IQ over 160. You roll it. And I can tell you, this guy is very, very brilliant. I went to MedStar. They did redid my knee. They are very brilliant there as well. Mm -hmm. This man here, he knows what he's talking about. Thank you, Don. And I got to tell you. They're very smart. They put they put chloride or chlorine, fluoride, all kinds of things. They wanted it for our teeth. No, all that stuff is poison. It's poison to kids, and they recycle water at ninety five percent. It's considered healthy to re drink it. They pump it back in the river for people down river to drink. Yeah. How about ninety five percent from Cumberland all the way to Hancock, then from Hancock to Hagerstown. When you get to Hagerstown and drink it, you can't stand the smell. Right. right. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. How can you drink something that smells like something you flush? 
Don, Don, what do you drink? You cannot tell me. What do you drink, Don? Hey, Don, I think you're brilliant, brother. Don, what do you drink? Love the Redskins. Normally, that's what I watch this for. Don, before Uh, you go, what do you drink? Don, thank you. Don? He's gone. Hey, well, thanks, Don. Here's here's the thing that, like, in the water, they have, it's actually recycled. We we drink recycled water uh, and uh, from our waste, so, like, it's not healthy. And also, the other thing about the water, I want to piggyback on what Don said, was that um, the amount of medications, antibiotics that are in the water, they said that they're safe. I, I disagree with that. There's mm-hmm. antidepressant medication in our water supply. Mm-hmm. And so if we're going to drink excessive amounts of gallons of that drug water with fluorine and chlorides and chloridanes, but the chemical, the drugs is what I'm against, all the hormones, I mean, it's in our water supply. Yeah. What about the uh, machine that alkalizes water? Yeah, so, so this is another thing that when people get the machine, they start alkalizing water. You know, normally spring water is alkaline, yeah. but... I don't think that's the big uh, factor that is good for us. It's the minerals in the water. When you actually alkalize water that doesn't have minerals and drink that, it can really throw off your pH. When I start testing people, especially in the clinic, with their urine, Mm -hmm. and their urine is supposed to be like a a six and it's a a nine because they're drinking all the alkaline water, it throws off the entire chemistry. So I'm not crazy about the, the machines that alkalize the water. If you have a machine... You know, you have to justify the cost. Right. Maybe set it at 7.5, but don't set it at 8.5 or 9. Mm-hmm. Some final thoughts from Dr. Berg in just a moment. Bill and Alexandria, you're next. Let's take a look back into our sports art archives on this date, 2011, that the Nationals earned a walk-off win over the New York Mets, 3-2 at Nats Park. It was a second of four wins in a row for Washington. The Nats would go on to finish 80 and 81 that season under three different skippers. Great job, man. Sports Talk after the game comes your way this Sunday at 8 o'clock. Uh, Alex Parker will take your calls and questions about the Nats and Skin training camp. So join Alex and join the conversation. That's Sports Talk after the game every Sunday at 8 p.m. We're back with Dr. Eric Berg, author of The Seven Principles of Fat Burning, available now on Amazon.com. Bill, go ahead. You kick it off. You're on the air. Bill? Hello. Uh, yeah, I just want to say that um, I uh, agree with everything that you guys are talking about there, and I've got a firsthand story okay. about that. With uh, I'm sorry, what was that condition? Uh, Hyponatremia. Uh, overhydration. Yeah, hyponatremia. Okay, there. Um, I'm a musician playing one night in uh, a gig with the guys in the one more band and uh, Randy, our bass player had basically, it was a very hot day. We were playing outside at the uh, Hernan Friday night live and he drank too much water. Right. Um, he actually, drank, he, uh, and that's exactly what the medics, we couldn't actually finish, uh, the show. We had to cut off because he basically passed out on stage. We were really worried about him. Mm-hmm. Medics came, uh, and, uh, basically he had, uh, over hydrated, mm. Uh, and and uh, wash his, his body of all the minerals. He didn't have anything to eat. And I said, maybe you should have had a beer, you know, with that or something. Yeah, yeah. And that's a big joke, but uh, I, I know what you're saying. I yeah. just wanted to say I I heard the other callers, and I wanted to say that. Yeah. Wow, yeah. thank you. Okay, Bill. Yeah, all right, thanks for your See, point. everyone's so focused on the dehydration, yeah. not the overhydration. Right. Well, what do you think about the two scientists that call? I, 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 mean, I, guess I think that you have to really look at the source of information that they're taught, especially a dietitian. They're funded, uh, the continuing education by Coca-Cola, mm-hmm. uh, Burger King. Mm-hmm. You have huge funding into teaching them certain right. things. So I think it's altered. That's my opinion. Here's a question. Do you think, as educated as those two people were, do you think that they could ever change no, I think uh, the more educated you are, it's hard. You become more fixed in your ideas. It's harder to uh, be free thinking about mm-hmm. different things. So, yeah. I mean, everyone has fixed ideas, but there's definitely a certain dogma that's pushed in the medical community about mm-hmm. water and food and nutrition. Yeah. That's a little different than um, an alternative medicine. Well, you'll be sword fighting the rest of your career, <laughs> man. Good. Well, what do we get our body in the right uh, uh, pH? What do we eat? Well, well, here's the thing. Like, some people think they're too alkaline or too acid. Right. Let me just give you a couple things. Number one, if you're too alkaline, you'll get, you'll get pain, muscle pain. Mm-hmm. You'll get a little twitching right here. You'll get cramps. So if you're too alkaline, you need to drink uh, apple cider vinegar in your water. Right. If you're too acid, mm-hmm. you're breathing. You'll have sighing like you'll be like, <sighs> can't get enough air. Yeah. So yeah. you need to take calcium citrate for that. Yeah. Um, and there's mm-hmm. other symptoms as well. Shay, go ahead. You're on the air. 
Oh, wow. Hi. I just wanted to say that I think this topic is great. And I live in the Brandywine, Maryland area, and I'd like to know if they, we have well water here, but right now we are in a series of a time period where we're testing the water to make sure that there is no bacteria and lead in it and right. things like that. But in the interim, I'd like to know if there is a brand that you guys would suggest that is, is actually a real spring water that actually runs over the, you know, still retains the minerals and everything like that and um, isn't or hasn't been affected by the, the antibiotics and everything that's in the water. Thank you, Good Shay, question. Thank you. The, the, quick, yeah, quick. The, I like Deer Park is good, but Pellegrino is the, is the bomb. It's the best. Pellegrino is from Italy. It's the real stuff. All right. Hey, that's going to do it for this system sports talk. Thanks for joining us. For Dr. Eric Berg, our entire crew, I'm Glenn Harris. Please go in friendship, Doc. Again, a good one. We'll see you next week.